we're back for the second episode of the Vintage Talk. Today we're going to be focusing on rock tees, if you can see around me. I'm going to show you a little bit of my collection again. I got 10 pieces again that I'm going to show from my personal collection. And like I said, they're not for sale unless you come with the right price tag. Uh, with a little bit of what I'm wearing, um, if you can see, like this is the 3-6 Mafia shirt. This shirt is a liquid blue shirt from 2001. And just so you guys can see, it is double-sided. Um, it has the tag. A lot of people will, will flex the, the printed tag ones, talking about it's, it's the shirt now. But this is the real one. It has a 2001 stamp right there. And this shirt was made popular by 36 Mafia. If, you, if anybody knows, um, Juicy J word for a video. Travis Scott word too. Made it just skyrocket. And then onto the pants, I have these military pants. Well, I mean, I painted on. I did a little bit of pop culture on it. You can see Keith Haring, Tasha Murakami. Um, got the ain't number the G thing. We leaf hat on the youngin. Shout out to old heads. Um, but yeah, rock tees. Like I said, they're just dope because their graphics are amazing. Um, a lot of the graphics that rock bands have done or have gone with are just incredible, incredible, incredible. The grunginess. The um, I think that rock shirts when they're thrashed or they're like loose and they're faded and stuff, they, they make such a nice impact to a person's um, fit. You know. One more thing, this is my collection. Um, I like what I like. I don't sometimes I uh, I do like the hype stuff, like you know what I mean. But I got this before it even was hype. I got this years ago. That being said, let's just let's just get into it. So the first piece that we have is this Led Zeppelin. It doesn't have a a date on it. It's on a Z USA tag, um, just one sided. But the reason why I love 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 this graphic is because it it reminds me of of my people that go out the campesinos or the the field workers, as you would say. Um, and the field workers are mostly from Latino heritage and that's what, I, that's what I am. So when I saw this piece and I saw that it had the man that was working in the field, it just, it just did something for me. Like it just, it was just like, oh, that's, that's like, that's like my uncle was like working in the fields and they just put him on there. You know what I mean? So I thought that was really dope. But like, I got the shirt at a... At the flea market, I think I paid a dollar for it too, and it was uh, a one of those big on the floor finds, you know. Second piece that I'm gonna have is is this Rob Zombie super thrashed tank. It's on a gilding tee. I believe it doesn't have a date on it. No, it doesn't. But I mean, y'all can read what it says. Sissy, stay home. It's on the stage, in person, Rob Zombie with his big face. Spooky season it has started, so this is a perfect, perfect, perfect shirt for it. I actually wanted to add sleeves to it, um, just so I can wear it more comfortably, or like wear it all, all throughout the year or whatever. Um, and because the way that it's cut is kind of weird, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I? Should I leave it as a tank or should I cut it or should I actually make it into an actual shirt and just add the sleeves um, because it is amazing. It's an amazing, amazing graphic. I got this out of flea. I paid 50 cents for it. I guess people were passing it up because of the way that it was cut, but I mean, I can't pass up a graphic like that. And you don't really come across a lot of Rob Zombie, Rob Zombie pieces, so I definitely, definitely needed this. The third shirt that I want to show you guys is this Grateful Dead. This is from 1997 Delta Tag. Space. Your face. Beautiful, beautiful shirt. If anybody knows anything about me, they know that I love space and I love alien stuff. I love alien culture color of the actual shirt is crazy it's like a tie-dye but kind of it's kind of like nebula looking yeah the back is amazing with the spacecraft 
this shirt I got at a flea market. I paid, I believe I paid a dollar for this. If not, it was two dollars. But yeah, um, I mean, you know how I do. <laughs> the fourth shirt that we have is the Summer Sanitarium 2003 Tour Tee. I believe it has Metallica, Limp Bizkit, Linkin Park, Deftones, and Mud Vein. And they have them all in character form in the front. It says the inmates. It's kind of like a, like a crazy house. This is the back. It's on a Tennessee River T. 2003. I had this. I got this shirt at a flea market. I paid like four bucks for it. But I love, love, love this shirt. It just looks... It just has all the people in character form just dope. All the names. It's just a dope, dope piece. The next shirt that we have, um, it is the fifth shirt, is another Grateful Dead piece. Look at this piece. Fare the well. Fare the well. This is 1995. Right there too, 1995 Grateful Dead on the Gildan team. This piece I got, um, it's actually a, a piece that I paid up on in a sense. For a while, like I, I went and sold to other uh, uh, stores, kind of like Wastelands and these other thrift stores, right? And I would get store credit and when I would get store credit, and what I would do is I would sell those stuff and then go to the store and look through their racks and see what, what they had. And most A lot of times they didn't really have a lot a lot of dope stuff, but sometimes have some cool pieces. And they had this piece behind the counter. They wanted $50 for it, the, the, the fifth shirt. The last shirt that we have down here is the Sex Pistols tee. This piece to me is a grailer. Grail, 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 grail. I got this shirt for 50 cents. Got it out of, obviously at a flea market. The way that I found this shirt, it was on a hill, but it was just on top. It was literally right on top. I got into the flea market pretty early and people were still setting up. And as soon as I got to the first, the, the first little hill, I see it just sitting like that. If you know how to dig and you already been having eyes for digging, you will know automatically when you see a graphic, you can see it from a far distance and you're like, oh, that's something, let me go check. So as soon as I saw it, I saw what it was and I was just like, oh, that's crazy. The guy told me it was 50 cents a piece. Um, I took it to, to the Rose Bowl a couple times and people offered up a hundred, two hundred dollars, but I believe this is, this costs more than two hundred dollars. Um, it's a big, big print, the big print that has Sex Pistols across it, it has Sid Vicious, um, it has all the names of the, the guys, it has the lady, um, the anarchy sign, Anarquia in Spanish, well, not in Spanish, but you know, um, the punk's not dead in the back. The actual tag is super faded, you can't even tell what tag was it. It is not single stitch, but man, just look at it. It definitely, definitely pops when you put it on. And yeah, this is one of my favorite, favorite pieces that I have. As far as like rock tees. The next pieces that we will show is we can start here today. It's this Ozzy. Ozzy Osbourne is back. Hopefully YouTube doesn't 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 say nothing because of the hand gestures that he's doing. But look at this flamer of a piece. It's single stitched and it is on a shirt. Shirts time made in Guatemala. I'm Guatemalan, so that's amazing. This is one of those shirts that I told you guys that. It is tagged extra large, but when I got it, it was a tiny little thing. It was literally tiny, tiny, tiny. 
Um, I got it at the flea market. I paid ten dollars for this, and I was like, I was trying to get it for a little less. I'm not even gonna lie, but the guy, the guy kind of knew what he had, so I was like, it's okay, ten dollars. I'll pay, definitely pay for this. This is definitely a, a hundreds of dollars shirt, you know. Um, and I was like, my main goal was to get it back to an extra large, cause it looked like it was a medium, honestly. Um, so the first time I washed it. I stretched the hell out of this thing. I mean, look at the graphic. I can't. I wouldn't. Be, I wouldn't be able to let this go. This needs to be in my collection. The Ozzy Osbourne is back. It's just crazy on back. Um, it's simple but straight to the point. Yeah, this piece is amazing. The second to last piece that I have is. And it's the only long sleeve that I have is this Megadeth. I believe it's from from the early 90s or late 80s. I'm, I'll say it's more like early 90s. Um, haven't really, but I really think it's 80s. Let me see if it has a date. It does not have a date, but it is single stitched. Single stitched. Um, long sleeve mega death I got this again at a Philly market I paid one dollar for this and the crazy story about this one is that the person that was selling it he was selling straight just straight tool things so I think he found a, like a tool workshop or something of somebody and all the boxes were just tools but from the corner of my eye I saw I saw these dirty white shirts in a box and if you know anything about like construction workers or mechanics and stuff like that a lot of them use a lot of grungy shirts and most of the old old timers like they they did use like a lot of the rock band shirts for some reason I always find it like they always thrashed like that like a mechanic was using like it has all your spills and on that so my first thought was like okay there might be something in there. Even if they have oil stains, I'll probably be able to clean it or whatever. But the guy told me it was a dollar. I grabbed it and I didn't find anything else that day, but I was the most happy. If anybody knows exactly what date this is, because I really don't know, um, y'all put it in the comments. But how dope is a single stitch long sleeve? It's really dope. Isn't that, it's, the tag is not there. So I don't really know what tag it is. Love that fact that it took a single stitch on its long sleeve. And then, last but not least, this is the last shirt and it had to be white again. It is single stitch. Pearl Jam World Tour 1995. Live in concert. Amazing shirt. The tag is cut up. Um... I got this shirt a long time ago, over five years that I got this shirt. I got it for a dollar at, at the flea market. When I got it, it was pristine. And the cool, the cool story about this is when I was selling to other stores, one of the other stores that I was selling on Melrose 2 was Round 2 before Round 2 had all the other stores. And Sean was still buying, buying vintage at the time. And he low-key was wearing this shirt his was super faded. It was faded, 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 faded. One of the days that I want to go sell, I actually took this shirt. I just wanted to show it to him and see how much he he appraised it for. And as soon as he saw it, he was like, you know, I got that, right? And I was like, yeah, I seen it. I seen it on your videos. I seen it on your pictures on Instagram. But I was like, but mine has color still. <laughs> and he was just like, yeah, I need it. How much do you want for it? Um, I told him to offer me something. He offered... He offered a pretty penny. He offered two fifty at the time, um, and at the time, I mean, I would have taken it. Cause, I mean, I needed the bread at the time, but I was like, nah. My mom was telling me this vintage stuff is gonna go crazier, crazier, crazier. And I mean, y'all can actually, y'all can find it online. Y'all see how much it is, how much this can go for the big hand. So I think I did a good job just keeping it, stashing it away. Great shirt, great, great shirt. Amazing graphic. Like I said again, rock shirts have the best, best graphics in the game. Besides rap cheese, some rap cheese are amazing. 
Um, so as I'm editing, I saw that I literally left out one shirt that was right here. This is the last shirt that I will be showing from my, from my collection. And it's this Iron Maiden virtual tee. Just, I'm going to just let y'all look. Beautiful, beautiful tee. It's on that Resurrección tag. You know, the Mexican tags. They had all the great, great, great graphics from the early 90s. This tee, I paid $10 for it. I got it at a flea market as well. But yeah, I needed to throw this in because I was, I was literally like, let me show y'all. I was just doing the editing. I already had it all the way done and I forgot that I didn't have this shirt. So, I'm gonna show it to you guys the way that it needs to be shown. Look at that. Fire. Yeah, that's that was my, my little bit of my little bit of rock shirts that I have. Well at least the first installment of the rock shirts for this vintage top. Let me know which was your favorite tea. That's one thing that I forgot to say in the last last uh, episode. That's what I want you to guys to 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 pick what was your favorite tea? Which one do you think costs more? Um, which one do you think is more valuable? These are my socials again. Instagram metaphor underscore AOTA. I have AOTA Vintage and I have AOTAVintage.com where you guys can buy anything ships everywhere. Make sure you click the right shipping. And y'all like, subscribe, and comment on this on this video. I'm gonna keep giving you guys more content at least two or three times a week um but we're just we're just hopping into this so i hope the light worked better this time so you guys could actually see the the pieces even better and um yeah to the next time metaphor signing out Bow.